Bob Ward, you're in charge of policy and communication at Grantham, which of course for many people is identified with climate change. Well, we have all these cities. Rio, we have more recently Warsaw, we have the latest city where we're told it's the last minute, we have to do something or we're finished. And after each of these events, we don't do anything. And then we're told it's the next cop. Is there a risk here of our having cried wolf too often, claimed the moment to be decisive too frequently, and people have kind of turned off? Well, it's certainly what you've highlighted shows um, how we haven't been getting it right. Um, the truth of the matter is that climate change is a risk management exercise. And every opportunity we miss at the moment to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions means that the risks increase. So all of these earlier opportunities to reduce emissions and therefore manage the risk are missed opportunities. But the idea that we now give up if we miss yeah. any of these opportunities would be, would be wrong. But frankly, we are now getting to the stage where it's going to be increasingly more difficult and more risky in order to give ourselves a reasonable You're chance. nearly doing it again. We're nearly getting to the point. Is there a kind of perpetual temptation when you're a communications guy on something so vital to talk it up? This is straight from the science, right? We've seen from the evidence that if we go above global warming of more than two degrees, we will be facing very severe risks that the world has not seen for millions yeah. of years. So anybody who thinks we can easily manage this um, is really not speaking from evidence. I want so to take you to a frightening idea. You say the United States and so on, the big countries, haven't taken responsibility for climate justice, for what they have caused. Maybe they don't care. Maybe in a way they're looking at it and saying, we're not the Maldives. We're not going to sink anytime soon. Climate is an issue that doesn't affect them enough, and they're not interested in climate justice. I don't think that's true. If you look at the statements by people like President Obama, it's clear that he understands the scale of the risks. And it isn't just the case that it is a, the vested interests of a few people who who want to promote their own interests over everybody else that's stopping us from getting there. It's a difficult problem. Our world is run on fossil fuels. So you're pretty, you're pretty cool about fracking, aren't you? As long as it's sort of wound down by about 2030. That's a peculiar position for well, climate change to take. Uh, so uh, my primary interest is how do we manage the risks of climate change? At the moment when you burn coal to generate electricity, you generate twice as much carbon dioxide as if you were burning natural gas. Of course you would need to manage the local environmental risks that are associated with fracking, but if they can be properly managed and we are able therefore to burn gas instead of coal, that would be to everybody's Supposing benefit. Supposing a young person were to take you aside and say, what will England, England be like in 2060? I want you to answer me without talking about risk. What do you think it will be like in 2060? I'm optimistic about our chances of controlling climate change, but we will be dealing with a worsening climate for several decades, no matter how well we cut emissions. And we can already start to see the impacts of climate change in the UK. So huge flooding, massive more, changes. More flooding, more droughts, more heat waves. They are things that are going to get worse. We're already starting to see them increase. They will get worse. But I do believe we will, by 2060, be on a path where we will have adopted a low carbon economy and our emissions will be coming down. We'll still be dealing with impacts, but we won't be dealing with the catastrophic potential impacts that we could be if we don't go down that route. Bob, thank you so much for submitting yourself to the Gear to Grilling. Thank you.